Hi everybody, it's Naomi here with another tutorial to show you how to make this mixed media tag. So here I'm stamping onto some shrink film. So I'm using permanent ink, uh, archival black archival ink, and I'm stamping onto the shiny side of the shrink film. And I'll set that aside to dry. And I'm also here just stamping out my focal point and my quote so that I can prepare all my elements before starting on my tag background. So I'm using clear gesso on my tag today because I want to keep the chipboard colour. And then I'm putting three different pink shades on the background. I will link all the products and colours I used in the description. So here I'm turning the shrink film over to the rough side and I'm painting on my magicals. So I'm using Trust the Process Red, which is from Natalie May's Words of Wisdom set. And then I let that dry naturally. And then I just cut out each one of the hearts with a small border around. And I also love to use my magicals to colour my images. Um, it helps blend it all into the background using the same colours. So here I'm starting with uh, my lightest colour. And I decide it's I've got pretty in pink pink, umbrella drink pink, and not in a vermilion years. So because chipboard is quite thirsty, I decided to put them in my palette um, and paint them on. Now I want a bit of a sploshy look and a bit of a drip. So I'm just tipping it up so it runs into that texture paste. And then I dry off a layer and then start the second layer just to increase the intensity of the colours. And I love how the Lindy's just blend into each other. So I dried that off and then I'm adding splatters. So this was a quick little trick on how to shrink your shrinkies and you just use a heat gun. Okay, and here I'm using Poutine Gold and Midnight Rendezvous Raven Spray. And I'm just dabbing that off. I just want a bit of depth. So I'm just doing a little bit of spray, a bit of water and wiping it off. And then at the other end as well to get give some depth to my background. Then I'm just using the nozzle and adding some splatters. And of course, once that's dry, I'm adding some marks with that same heart stamp. And then I'm just carefully putting a little bit of gel medium down so I can create a little platform for my focal point to sit on. And just to make it even, I'm adding a little bit up the top as well. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy and I hope I've inspired you to use your Lindy's on different surfaces. Thanks for watching.